You know, some days I feel a pull. Like something far off is calling my symbiote home. Right. Challenge the journey. Space is enormous. How would you make a trip like that? Good question. I don't know. Most of the time I'm lucky if I can afford a bus ticket to San Francisco. Do you ever wonder about your symbiote's life before you bonded? I don't have to wonder. I catch the occasional flash of memory from my other. Only bits and pieces, but they tell a whole story. In one, I see it bonding with a genetically modified Kree soldier who fought in an intergalactic war. In another, I feel its bloodlust as it stands over the icy graves of fallen foes. Do you share any memories of when it bonded with Spider-Man? Yes. I prefer not to think of those. Why not? You don't know him like I do. Why do you hate him so much? <sighs> it's a long story. I can make it through Doctor Strange's astral explanations. Test me. Honestly, I'd rather listen to Doctor Strange talk about the smell of the astral plane than dig into my history with Parker. You were just stalling. Remember how I said I lost my journalist job because of some embarrassing reporting? That was partly Spider-Man's fault. Spider-Man got you fired? No, he caught the bad guy, like he always does. He just exposed the flaws in my reporting when he did it. Sounds like a contradiction. I understand. You wanted the bad guy to go free. No, of course I didn't want that murderer on the streets. I just didn't want to be publicly embarrassed. Look, the symbiote feeds off my hormones. If they aren't perfectly bonded, a symbiote can suck their host dry. Are you saying your shared hatred of Spider-Man helped you and your symbiote bond? In a way. You owe him your life. In no way. But you and Spider-Man get along now. Uh, sure. If by get along, you mean my other and I agreed not to eat his pancreas. That sounds like true friendship. <laughs> sure, but it's nothing like the one you and I have. Your pancreas is safe from us. Okay.